Hello, good morning. This is Robert, and today we will be talking about Depot Field Preview. First, what does it mean, uh, and uh, how do I use it? How will it help me achieve my desired photo? And to do that, I'll be showing you my typical workflow in shooting products like uh, doing product shoots like this. I uh, will be using the Logitech G602 gaming mouse. A very interesting mouse, a good choice of materials, the shape is uh, unique, and uh, it's fun to shoot. So uh, I'll be using the OMD M1, I'll be using also the 45mm F1.8, and let's start. So at 45mm 1.8, we tend to use the 1.8 aperture because it's there, it's going to be sharp. It's gonna be fast and we paid for it so might as well use the 1.8 but the challenge is with this photo as you can see at 1.8 uh, let me turn off the okay at 1.8 the depth of field is not that deep you see here the focus starts here and ends about here so let's try to zoom in so that you understand what I'm talking about. So you see at this, let's pre-focus here. This area is in focus. We want that to be in focus. But somehow the focus fades away from this area. So how do we do that? We change the aperture to a smaller one to increase the depth of field. So from 1.8, let's try uh, let's try to shoot f1.8 first so that we have a baseline. Let's set this a focus point. So let's try to turn on also the uh, two second delay so that uh, if there's any kind of camera shake it will be compensated by my two second delay so this is what I use normally okay this is the f1.8 as you can see again the back side of the mouse is not in focus let's try on f1.5.6 uh, so as you can see, as I move the dial, nothing happens on the preview because the focusing and the metering is being done and the preview is being done on the widest opening. So you wouldn't know how much is the field until you took the photo and until you preview the photo. So let's try to preview the photo now and compare the two photos we take recently, we took recently. Uh, oops. Oh, okay. There's a good feature also on IMD M1. You can zoom in and you can compare photo just by rotating the front dial here. This is the 5.6. Oops. Let's zoom out a bit. And this is 1.8. As you can see, there's a big difference already, but it's not quite there because I want these letters to be legible yeah that G9 and G6 is not legible yet so let's go ahead and bump this up again I mean stop the aperture down let's say a fade again it doesn't show me the F8 it shows me the F1.8 and I need to preview the uh, check the picture if it's up to my not quite there yet so I'll jump go ahead to F16 just to make sure okay at this stage if we nail the depot field so I'll be checking for highlights, if there's any, any blown highlights and uh, 
make some adjustments on camera so that I don't uh, do so much in the post processing so at f22 I need to have I think it's a 10 second exposure but let's take a look I think we nailed it okay we compare this to f8 f5.6 and f1.8 huge huge difference between wide open and f22 so I think we nailed yeah we pretty much nailed it g9 g6 very legible all throughout the whole subject is in focus so now I am a bit concerned on this area uh, we should see letters g10 and g11 here so to compensate for that I will press the uh, highlights and shadows controls here for the EM1 but I need to zoom out first and uh, need to turn off this let's enable the histogram first see? see see the histogram clipping on the highlights on the right side so together with the histogram I'll reduce the highlights see my histogram going to the left side so let's see how's the change it's taking around 10 seconds of exposure okay I think I use the yeah I use a flash the fast flash okay is it readable a bit it's readable a bit uh, it's still not there yet so in this case I need to drop down the exposure compensation let's take it one more time it's gonna be a faster let's see it's a faster exposure can we read the G10 G11 yes we can we got the shot but as you can see we took around how many photos to achieve the shot we need we took one two three uh, seven shots and almost five mi nine minutes I think uh, so I'll be sharing to you how the procedure how to speed this up by enabling us to see the aperture in real time the depot field in real time so to do that you need to go to your menu first enable the go to your display a custom menu then display menu go to the last page we need to enable the depot field preview lock on so it's already on if if it's not you can turn it on then we need to find out which button is assigned for the depot field preview so you go to this button dial lever uh, menu go enter to the button function go to the so uh, by default olympus is set to have the depot field preview button on the front bottom function button somewhere uh, between the lens mount and the uh, grip so since we are all set let's enable that depot field preview as and you can see already let me bring up the menu as soon as I press the depot field preview boom you can see that everything is in focus 1.8 this is the normal preview f16 so let's try to drop it down to 1.8 I press the depot field preview lock nothing happened it's almost the same and as I dial the aperture down you will see everything gets into the depot field until F16 everything is okay 
So with this way, I didn't I don't need to spend seven or eight photos or ten minutes just to find out uh, how is my depot field uh, is my subject inside my depot field so can, you can right away uh, know that, you're, that uh, everything is in focus uh, what else okay uh, I think I need to show to you how does it uh, looks like the iris looks like when you turn the dial so right now it's on F22 so much yeah you can see it I think let's remove the hood it's on F22 but as I turn the dial it goes to its widest opening 1.8 and it responds in real time that's about it I hope you enjoyed this video